Hello YouTube! Welcome to D&D Daily, my name is Sage. Today I wanted to be talking about a combat that I recently ran that I thought was pretty successful. Let's get into it. So to paint a picture of this scenario, my party has an item that lets them teleport to somebody that they know once every 24 hours. So the party has a PC whose sister was captured by mind flares and was missing. So the party decided to use this ring to teleport directly to the sister who was in the Underdark. Now the Underdark is extremely dangerous in my world and most worlds. And so the whole goal of the party was go to the Underdark, get the sister, survive for 24 hours to be able to teleport back out. So while in the Underdark, they had several confrontations that were all of pretty high difficulty. They were dealing with a Beholder, they were dealing with Mind Flayers that were using Dire Wolves, which the Dire Wolf Mind Flayer combo was surprisingly effective. But all of that culminated into the party about 15 seconds before they were able to use the transportation ring. I introduced a boss in that 15 seconds, and so it was basically survive for two rounds, escape the gate, and that's it. And it was a cool introduction to the boss because it had so much power and momentum that it was terrifying for them, but they were still able to escape out alive. So I'll kind of explain how I set that up. So first and foremost is they were in a dark area and I wanted the boss to be super apparent. So I had the boss basically cast daylight on themselves so they were a beacon of light charging towards the party. I also didn't want the boss to start right by them. So I put the boss 450 feet away, which is a pretty big distance because I wanted it to feel like this encroaching death and they had seconds to wait and they had seconds before they got there and so there was like this this powerful momentum to the scenario now how I set that up is I gave the boss a legendary action move which lets them use their legendary action to move their movement speed and it had 50 foot movement speed start of their turn you know 50 feet 50 feet, 50 feet, so every round it was 150 feet before it was even their turn, then they had the move and dash, so they were able to move 250 feet around. Damn! And again, this is like two rounds before they can cast the spell, and then one round to get everybody through the portal that it opens up, so kind of three rounds altogether. The party was smart and they tried delaying tactics, so they summoned creatures in between them and this encroaching boss monster, as well as tried to do spells that would slow them down difficult terrain you know, knock them prone, make them blind and all that stuff. So I actually had the boss used an item called Oily of Slipperiness, which if you don't know what that does, it makes you immune to difficult terrain, makes it so you can't be paralyzed. So they were casting these spells to slow them down and they would have a moment of like, whew, okay, we blocked and then boom, he'd come bursting out of the difficult terrain, having slowed down zero. So there was just this encroaching death. And then it got to their summons and their summons were just absolutely annihilated by this boss's attacks who just does massive amounts of damage with a lot of attacks. And so again, I guess what I'm trying to explain through all the mechanics is this feeling of death approaching and it's like inevitable. No matter what you're throwing at it, it's just chopping through it and you have seconds to live and in those seconds they manage to open up the portal. So the boss eventually got up close and one of the PCs was like, I'm gonna defend the party and stood out and took the attacks and got knocked. Then their NPC that was with them to help them picked up that party member and went through the gate and ended up surviving from the opportunity attacks in another round of attacks by two HP because the boss rolled double nat ones. And so I did a, you know, a big miss on that one. But it was really fun. I think it had a lot of impact. I could tell the party came out being like, woo! both hyped and stressed and like the, the relief they felt from escaping and someone escaping on 2 HP was super hyped. And it was just what I would call a really successful combat. And I guess I wanted to share that and the mechanics that went behind making it a successful combat. So I thought it was a lot of fun. So what I want to hear from you guys is how you would run a similar combat. What monster would you use? What situation would you use? And how would you set it up? Let me know in the comments down below. We are D&D Daily. We release new D&D content every single day. So if that's interesting to you, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one. Later.